Hey, what's up, you guys? We've got our 10 minute mini today. This is the deep core mini. So we're gonna do 10 minutes. It's gonna go minute to minute because we don't have a lot of time. We are gonna make up for it with the time under tension, okay? Switching it up today, we've got some music playing. So let me know you, what you guys think. If you like the music, if you don't like the music, uh, we'll go from there. I might turn it down just a notch to get started. Okay, so with decor, you guys, uh, we're gonna focus obviously on the transverse abdominis, so it's not gonna feel like that real burning, crampy sensation when you like hammer out abs. We are gonna have a 10 minute ab mini, but this one's gonna be more focused on the deep core. Okay, we're starting in three seconds. We're gonna start with the pelvic tilt and a vacuum. Here we go, okay? We're starting with that deep diaphragmatic breath in and out. Draw the navel in, tilt the pelvis, Bring that belly in, hold it in for three. Ooh, as tight as you can, two and one. Good, then breathe in, belly expands, okay? Out, draw the navel in, tilt the pelvis. Let's hold for three, two, hold it in, one. Good, and relax, back to neutral. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Now, tilt the pelvis, such a subtle thing here but keep that navel drawing in here for three, two, one, good. Deep breath in, rock that pelvis back, okay? Expand, now exhale, contract, navel to spine, bring it all the way down, glue that low back to the floor here. Let's hold for three, two, and one, good. Now we're coming into those pelvic tilt glute bridges, okay? So tilt, press up, down, rock back. Tilt, press up, draw the navel in as you come up, and down, good. Okay, press through the heels, draw the navel in, feel that belly coming into the spine, okay? Good, got 30 more seconds here, you guys got it, okay? Hold that navel in here, really feel that under your belly button kind of area tightening up, right? Good, I love that deep core work. It just re-like re establishes alignment in your body, right? The core is the center. It's the most important part in the body, in my opinion, of course. Deep breath in, deep breath out, tilt. Shoot those hips up, hold. Good, and come down. Okay, butterfly lifts next, we're coming. Deep breath in, drop the knees slightly. Deep breath out, use that core to draw your legs back up, okay? In, draw, out, lift. Keep the belly pressing in when you bring the legs up, okay? Exhale, bring the belly in. Keep that in, draw your legs up nice and slow, okay? Good, 30 seconds here. Draw, exhale, and lift. Pretty difficult to bring that up, okay? especially when you're being very present and mindful. Good, you want your low back pressing into the mat while you draw your legs up, yeah? One more really good rep here. Exhale, keep that belly drawn in, lift. Three, two, and one, good, okay. Now we're coming into heel drops, okay? Tabletop position. You are going to maintain that low back with that mat here, you guys. Okay, you're just alternating those heel drops here. Keep that flexed foot, okay, and your navel stays drawn in here as we're dropping. Good, drop and lift. If you'd like, you can even lift your neck here. It's gonna recruit some of that rectus abdominis up top. Good, and I myself start to feel, I'm starting to feel kind of that burn throughout the core here. So that's what we wanna feel, right? Good, this is no equipment here. You don't need anything, you just need yourself to fire up that deep core, you guys. Doesn't matter if you're postpartum or not, this is beneficial for absolutely anyone and everyone, especially if you're very sedentary. Five seconds, four, three, we're gonna move into a single-sided dead bod, okay? Good, here we go. We're coming out and in. There's progressions here, okay? You can either take a heel tap, 
You can take an extension with the arm, you can take an extension without the arm, or if you wanna progress this, you can take that extension with that head up. The only thing, maintain that low back to the mat, okay? I don't wanna, I don't wanna see you here that's not doing anything for the core. That's just jacking up your back, okay? Good, here. Nice, slow and controlled team, right? Good. Feel that stretch here, right along that kind of TA, that transverse abdominis. We've got 20 seconds, okay? If you feel it a little too much in your neck, drop the head, babe. Good. You got it, we've got eight seconds. Okay, obviously next up, we're gonna move to the other side in three, two, and one, here we go. Down. You may also feel this like a little bit in your hips as well. That could just be a sign that your hips are a little bit weak. They need to be stretched or and or strengthened a little bit. If you are sitting a lot during the day, that will be kind of prevalent. Especially if you are sitting, your hips end up in this shortened position and then your back ends up taking a lot of that strain. So this is why the deep core work is so important for desk workers especially uh, because of uh, we're not activating our core enough throughout the day, right? Nice job. I can feel myself starting to uh, fire up, that's for sure. 20 seconds here. You guys got it. Nice. Maintain that low back this whole time. My back, ooh, I'm starting to shake, has been pressing into this mat cape. We've got about five seconds here, and then you guys guessed it, we're moving on to the alternating dead bugs cape. Here we go, you can either grab a weight and hold the weight up top here, but you don't have to. So if you're not, let's go ahead and exercise those arms in opposition. Okay, again, you can come to that heel drop. That will be fine. Or you can come to the extension, opposition extension. Okay, then slightly, if you're gonna lift your neck here, the only thing I don't wanna see is that pushing out. We want to equalize that pressure, okay? Nice, oh yeah, it's been a while since I felt a good little burn here in the court and I love it. Okay, so 25 seconds here and then we're coming into that quadruped position. We're gonna work through some bird dogs, okay? Nice, keep it up. 15 seconds here, okay? Nice and slow. Use the core, draw you in. Good, five seconds, go five, four, go three, two, one, good, let's come over to the quadruped position here. We're starting with that bird dog, right? Single-sided here, and in, out, extend, out, and in, good. Nice neutral neck here, we're not looking any which way. Okay, pick a spot on the floor here. If you'd like, give me that extra crunch underneath. Ooh, nice. Shoulders right over top of your wrists here. Hip right over top of your knee, okay? Nice flat back, I don't wanna see none of that. Right? You got it. Got 15 seconds here. Okay, you already know what's up next. We're gonna even that out on the other side here. Keep it up, we've only got two more exercises. Three, two, one, let's go ahead and switch sides, okay? Reflecting or planning for the day, let's say. Really think about what kind of emotions and thoughts you wanna have today. Do you wanna be calm, productive, thoughtful, mindful of the day, or are you gonna be reactive Right? We have that power to choose our thoughts. Nice. 25 seconds here. Good. You want to extend that arm here. Nice extension. Really fire up that shoulder as well. Fire up the leg. And then crunch it in for that core. 10 seconds. Okay, after this, you guys, we've got the alternating dead bug. And that's the end of the 10 minutes. I want these to be easy, quick. You know, no excuse to do, right? All right, let's go. Alternating dead bugs here. Sorry, bird dogs. Good. 
I use this analogy a lot. Just imagine that you have like this glass of water on your shoulders here or between your shoulder blades. You don't want that thing moving, right? You want that thing to stay nice and solid. That's the challenge. So it's not about how many you can do. It's about the quality of the movement here. Okay, keep that navel drawn in. I don't want you guys here. Posterior pelvic tilt, shoulders over wrists. Good, and opposition here, alternating. 10 seconds, you guys got it. Go four, three, two, and one. Awesome job. Okay, right, quick, easy. That was awesome, right? So anyway, there's gonna be a bunch of these little mini series, you guys, um, quick, easy to do, no excuses, and they'll give you that energy boost that you can take right into your day. You can stack these, you can put whatever you want after this or before this or whatever. Um, hope you love it, hope you have a fantastic day. I'll see you next time.